Hi everybody. Yes, it's taken me a while to get back. Thank you so much for all your perseverance and your loyalty and your support. And I am a little late <laughs> getting the January out, but um, I am, um, you know, I am coming back as I said last month and uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you January. February is also done too, so I'll get that out next week. Okay, so this report, which is the planetary report, which is the report that's on the um, website so I'm going to give you all the reports on the website today for, for January okay just to get them sort of up and let's see what's happening because you know this is a pretty special month that kicks off the year and um, you know January to me is a month to be um, bold with new beginnings and it's a month to be a little bit idealistic as well as realistic. I love being idealistic because you know it sets the bar high and why shouldn't we do that because life does come as you've been watching me for a while you'll know that I do sort of say you know life comes with its inevitable compromises so if you start with a little bit of idealism throw in some realism of course um, that's really a great formula to you know start this year off and um, transform your life and reinvent your life so uh, you know December closed with the Sun Moon Square which was on the 29th that was my birthday yay and uh, that allowed us to revisit any unfinished business and clear it so if you didn't get to do that on year's end then this is still a great time to do that so the year did close with Mars entering uh, Aries, which is the sign that it rules. That was right on the 31st. So that's great energy. It's very comfortable there, very go-getter, sort of motivational energy and highly optimistic to kick the year off in a very positive and productive way. So the beginning of January, all these placements and activity in Capricorn, yay! <laughs> so hi to all my fellow Capricorns out there, as well as a solar eclipse, um, <clears throat> which was on the 5th, and that sort of really signified a great new start for business, not just for Capricorns, of course, but, you know, everybody. And you can literally just push forward and have you know a terrific sort of start and get things sort of organized and start putting them into action start seeing some changes straight away so um <clears throat> you know it's a great month to to do that to get organized now a uh, week one which you know is already passed by now is from the first to the sixth there was a combination between the Sun and Saturn and um, in, in Capricorn, that was on the 2nd, it gave us a clear message that it's time to get back to work. So um, I did try to have that little bit of break in between, but uh, you know, I must say, I, you know, I didn't get like a full sort of break because things are happening. It's a lot of excitement this year. I hope you can feel it. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, we're really like well and truly back into business. It's a great time to self-actualize your future. Like as I said, put it into action, decide what you want and make and then put massive amounts of action behind it to make it happen. Um, Uranus, uh, which is the planet of sudden change, that came out of retrograde as well on the 6th. So that really opened the door as well for, you know, something exciting to take place. And as Uranus will move to Taurus in March, which is the side of money and security, this is a perfect time right now in January, <clears throat> excuse me, to get your financial affairs in order, okay? Now, um, last week, or this week, um, or last week, actually, the January the 7th to the 13th, commenced with Venus leaving Scorpio on the 7th and uh, entering the more flirtatious and ad, you know adventurous sign of Sagittarius so um, you know that's always nice and fun and light-hearted and the Sun and Pluto connected on the 11th in the sign of Capricorn powerful energy that can literally reinvent or transform you, you know yourself or your thinking your attitude um, and it's a sign for you to take control of your life as well take charge and don't take no for an answer is there something you really want in life then you know 
step this is sort of like not a dress rehearsal this it's all happening you know this is your life to step out of your comfort zone and step into your, the future that you want um, you know as, as, as the saying goes the best way to predict your future is to create it so um, this is certainly a good time to do that and the week close with Jupiter and Neptune in a square okay so that's a, a challenging aspect and uh, so that really with Jupiter and Neptune it really really does challenge you to be a little bit really realistic while keeping your dreams sort of you know big and out there now um, week three this week January the 14th to the 20th Venus and Mars they're the love duo planners they interact on the 18th okay so this is like can be the start of something fabulous for you know romance or a new alliance with someone that you have a, that magnetic connection with or um, you know flames can excite you know in a relationship that you already have and be you know reignited but of course you know it's up to you to put the energy into it just because the um, you know the planetary aspects come together and give you a helping hand it's still up to you to decide what you want and sometimes the timing's right sometimes it's not you know so each and every one of us have to make that decision for ourselves. And then shortly after on the 20th, the sun will move to Aquarius. And this is a sign where um, intellectual genius is birthed. So, you know, you can really start to get some great ideas and, you know, yeah, everything starts with a thought and then you get the idea and push it forward it's also a time when the sun is opposite the moon so we've got like a um, full lunar eclipse in Leo okay it's also a super moon it's very intense it's at one degree so it's like super super intense um, and it's really a sign of something bigger and better to come now keep in mind I will be doing my little moon rituals um, um, this uh, weekend and um, you know keep in mind that while the moon is coming up to um, the full moon and up to in this case the eclipse it's waxing so it's getting bigger so it's great to sort of pull things to you it's great for abundance and and love and uh, putting out in a positive thought of what you want once it becomes full and um, then it becomes the wane so it's you know it's getting smaller but because you know either side of this eclipse is going to be powerful but it, you know if, for me personally I like to do my moon rituals just before the moon is formed all right um, okay so then moving on to next week January 21st the 27th Monday the 21st so that um, that lunar eclipse is going to be like on the 20th the 21st depending where you are in America and depending where you are in the world of course uh, but there's also Mars will square Saturn. So this does set up a little bit of a frustrating struggle where Mars wants to move forward, Saturn wants to pull back and be more cautious. So if you work, don't get too frustrated with it. Work with the energy, then it works well because Saturn then stops, stops us from making like rash um, decisions and movements that we haven't perhaps thought through as much as we should or could um, so Saturn does help us to put you know solid foundations in place so that's good Saturn looks at the long term as well and um, and you know secure security long term well Mars has the ability to get things done so it really is even though it's opposite energies um, which can be somewhat frustrating it really is ideal to work together so the thing is to not be too impatient all right allow life to unfold a little bit organically as it's meant to um, you don't want to get in your own way there and then on the 25th when Mars interacts with Jupiter this is a favorable interaction it's going to give you more optimistic feel about life and direction that you want will come together 
more, give you more clarity. And at this time, Venus also joins the party. So love and money matters come together as well in a very positive and prosperous way. So yeah, it, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a great month. I'm excited about 2019. Um, you know, a lot of people, including myself, say 2018 was not a great year. So, you know, bye bye 218. Let's, and let's embrace 219. I know we always say that at the start of the year, but this year I really feel it. So the end of the month um, closes with Saturn and Neptune interacting. So this is going to provide a great deal of balance between logical and intuitive thinking. Okay, Saturn being the logical and Neptune being the instinctual or intuitive. This aspect will highlight the need for you to follow both a material and spiritual outlook on life because let's face it, you know, we're living in this um, you know, world on earth where we need to have the material financial situation uh, taken care of to be able to live in this environment. But, you know, ultimately we are spiritual beings, okay? So it's a good message there to focus on both. And excuse me, moving into February, Mars Pluto energy can set up a bit of a power struggle. Between parties, uh, will need to parties will need to make some compromises to uh, agree on an outcome. So if you've got sort of a you know area of contention or discussion, then you're going to have to you know give a little to to get some back. Um, but if there is some irritability around that, then all can be forgiven shortly after as Venus and Uranus energy can totally distract your attention with a surprise development, something that's going to be impossible to ignore. It's a great time to connect with friends and socialize. Um, and as Venus enters Capricorn, uh, um, an attitude of responsibility can take place with money as well as security and stability with relationships. So all good stuff. Okay, so um, once again, thank you so much for being so uh, patient with me and um, we'll, you know, go forward now and try to get as much, you know, videos up as I can for you. So I'll go ahead and do the monthly January ones now, okay? All right, bye for now.